Whitetail Addicts is brought to you by Vortex Optics Bar Brand Raise the Bar and by these fine sponsors. So here lately I've been seeing a lot of pictures on social media and I'm sure you guys have been seeing these as well but usually they'll give you a big buck picture and then they'll give you three different places as to where you want to aim for this deer you know either A, B, or C um, and I'm just going to tell you right now that all of them are wrong. Um, actually where you want to aim and where you want to hit the deer are two different places but what's happening is these deer are ducking and I've got plenty of footage to back this up um, and I, again this show is just to basically help you guys and to help you recover more deer um, because I've had my share of misses and especially you lose confidence. I mean the, when it comes to bow hunting I can't tell you how many times I've missed a deer and I just run it through my mind and replay it and I thought man I, I thought my shot was good I thought it was solid I wasn't too nervous you know um, and you just you're just running it through your mind and you just didn't know what you did wrong um, and for those guys that don't film it stinks because you can't go back and replay that footage and see what exactly happened um, so you're just running it through your mind and you're seeing it in real time but what happens when you can slow that footage down it's given us the opportunity to see that these deer are actually dropping um, and in many cases they're ducking at least 12 inches maybe even more than 12 inches these deer are ducking um, and I, I don't know if you've ever seen a buck walking around but you'll, a lot of times you'll see a buck with a patch of hair missing on his back and I can't tell you the number of guys that I've heard you know usually say well they, they just get that from fighting well isn't it convenient though that that bare spot is also straight in a line with their vitals and what I'm finding is because I've actually contributed to a few bare spots of my own what I'm finding is this deer has been shot at and they're ducking the string, they're ducking the arrow is what they're doing and it's usually an arrow that's grazed their back and that's what's contributed to that bare spot on their back so the best place to hit a deer is actually double lung um, that's the best shot that we've ever seen it, the deer is going to expire a whole lot quicker if you get double lung but you're going to hear a lot of guys say shoot for the heart and the reason for that is because these deer are ducking and they've noticed this as well all these other professional hunters um, have seen these deer ducking so they're saying shoot for the heart and the reason for that is I would say one out of ten times the deer actually doesn't duck but nine out of ten times the deer's ducking but in that scenario if the deer doesn't duck then you're at least hitting the heart and then you're good to go but like I said nine out of ten times that deer's ducking and if it's close enough you're still gonna get double lung and like I said double lungs the best shot you can get but what I'm gonna actually say is anywhere from zero to thirty yards anywhere in that window period use your 20 yard pin don't if the deer's at 30 yards do not shoot your 30 yard pin put your 20 yard pin on his heart and let the arrow fly and you're gonna see that that deer will actually duck down into your arrow I guarantee you nine out of ten times that's what's gonna happen um, and I'm sure you guys I'm sure some of you if you've hunted for a very long time at all you've had it where you've had a deer out there at 30 yards and you settle your 30 yard pin in right behind that shoulder and you feel good you feel confident you let that arrow fly and then next thing you know you shot over his back and you don't know what happened because it, it happens that quick and then you're starting to question yourself and your confidence and and then you go back home and you start shooting the target again and sure enough your sights weren't bumped you're dead on so then you're questioning yourself if you had buck fever if you just got nervous and you just jerked a little bit or what happened and you wind up losing all this confidence when really all that happened is that deer was just loading his legs to then spring out of there and get the heck out of there um, but it winds up messing with our confidence as bow hunters and like I said, that's, that's why I want to do this show is to show you guys that, hey, these deer are ducking you know, anywhere from 12 to 15 inches at times. So anywhere from 0 to 30 yards, settle that 20-yard pin in and let it fly. And then I'd say again at 40 yards, use your 30-yard pin. And at 50 yards, use your 40-yard pin. Um, and I'm not going to touch on any further shots than that. But uh, like I said, these deer are ducking and you've got to account for it. So go ahead and hold your pins lower where they need to be and you're going to wind up finding out that these deer are going to duck right into that arrow.
Whitetail Addicts is brought to you by Vortex Optics Bar Brand Raise the Bar And by these fine sponsors